Bonjour, hello friends. Welcome back, or rather I'm back from vacation. Uh, and welcome to the very big, possibly the biggest unboxing that I have ever done. Hey, Robin, how are you? Um, so I was gone on vacation uh, for the last uh, week and a half or so. Hey, Rebecca, how are you? Good to see you. Um, I was in France, which was super duper exciting. Um, I was supposed to go to France the, pretty much the day before lockdown for COVID happened. Um, and as you can imagine, we were super duper sad that we weren't able to do the trip then. Um, the airlines gave us a credit for our tickets back then. Um, and they were about, the credit was about to expire. Um, so we booked the trip and I don't think we actually believed we were gonna go until we were actually on the plane um, to Paris, but we made it, we did it. Um, it was amazing. Um, there's lots and lots that I want to share about the trip. Um, I'm going to be posting one of the coolest things that I did while I was over there was I did this um, textiles of Paris tour um, and I got to go to the Auvergnois, uh studio and see all of their threads. I got to meet Natalie, um, talk to her, uh, so much exciting stuff. So I've got lots of pictures um, that I'll be sharing probably this afternoon with you all um, from that visit. Um, you can bet that there's going to be a whole bunch more of Oveaswa thread in the store um, because I saw some really beautiful, beautiful threads. Uh, what was super cool about their studio is that they have examples all over the place. They've got hoops and of how to use their, their thread. Um, so that was really cool was to be able to see um, how the, the pearl, the swa pearl uh, looks when it's stitched. Um, it, was, it was lovely. So. Um, so yeah, so keep an eye out. I'm going to post about that more this afternoon, probably. Um, I'm going to put some posts in my stories uh, with recommendations for shopping places, food, because we ate like crazy, um, all that good stuff. And then later on this week, I'm thinking Friday, around the same time, lunchtime, um, I'm going to open up and share with you all some of the goodies that I brought back with me. Um, I did some fabric shopping. I did some thread shopping. Um, I did some kits and other things. Um, so I will um, open all this stuff on Friday uh, during another Instagram Live and share with you guys everything that I bought. So, uh, so that's where I've been for the past um, couple of weeks. That's why the store was closed. So thank you so much for your patience. Um, and as usual, every time I leave, I try to plan it so that no boxes arrive while I'm gone. And inevitably, while I'm gone is when everything that's been backordered, everything that I wasn't expecting, shows up. That's exactly what happened this time. I have, I don't know, close to 10, 11 boxes, big boxes of things that I've been waiting for for ages. Um, so there's a lot, a lot, a lot to show you here. Fair warning, there is several things that you're going to see today that are brand spanking new. They are not on the website, um, and it's gonna take me a little bit to get them up on the website. So if there's something that you see, I will mention it if it's new um, and you just need to have it today, um, then please go ahead and uh, send me a message and I can set up a custom listing for you for that item um, if it's not up on the website yet. So. All right, um, let's see, other exciting news to share. There is an open studio happening this week on Thursday uh, from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. So if you're in the Durham area, feel free to stop by uh, during that time and um, shop in person. There is the um, Sashigo Pouch class is happening this Saturday. It's not too late to sign up. Uh, that one doesn't have a kit associated with it. It's via Zoom. Uh, it's a great class taught by Sudi Laura Overstreet. Uh, she teaches you how to take your 12 by 12 sashiko samplers and turn them into zipper pouches. Uh, so that's a really fun, easy class. There's still a couple spots left. And then um, in two weeks on April 23rd, Saturday, um, Rebecca Rehnquist from Drop Cloth Samplers is going to be teaching her color wheel class. So there are some, still some spots left. Um, you have the option of taking just the class or um, the class with the kit. So. We've got a couple options. Uh, you'll find registration for both of those over at snugglymonkey.com under classes. Uh, all right, I think that's all the upcoming announcements that I have for you guys. 
So I had to open up a box yesterday um, because I needed something that was in there. So it was a whole bunch of Sashiko supplies. Um, a couple of things that I just wanted to quickly point out from that box. There's a new color of um, Olympus Sashiko thread. This is the 100 meter skeins and this is a variegated brown. Um, so this is the last color that I was missing of, um, of the Olympus thread. So I now have all of the Olympus colors uh, but there, so there's this nice new variegated brown color that's now um, up in the shop. These are not new, but I haven't talked about them in a while. I um, mean, they've been out of stock for a little bit. So these are the needle cards. Um, and what these are is to store your needles. It's got about uh, five or six different little slots in here. So you can put your needles in there. It's about the size of a credit card, really nice and thin. It's got a little hole up here. So you could put it on a little chain. Um, attach it to your scissors, whatever. Um, but these are really handy. Uh, they, they're really nice for your project bag just to keep all your needles organized. And the cool thing is that they are an exact coordinating match to the um, scissor sheaths made by the same company. So they make a really nice little kind of combo gift um, if you want to do a needle case with the matching scissor case. So, um, so these are back. They've been out all four colors um, that they're available in are back in stock. And that's what was in the box from yesterday, along with lots of Sashiko thread and samplers and all that good stuff. All right, so let's jump in. This is something that I know a lot of people have been waiting a very, very long time for. Um, I was waiting for this for a long time. I've gotten lots and lots of questions about when is the Ada and Linen coming back? Um, I've been running really low for a couple of months now. All of my Ada and Linen that I sell in the shop is Weinart from Germany. Um, so it's been taking a little while, longer than usual uh, to get it, but that is what is in this box, um, is a very massive order of Linen and Ada. Uh, there is some of the perforated paper um, in white is in here. And then, um, this is, I believe, I don't, I forgot to look at the box. I think there's like 35, 40 pounds of fabric um, in this box. So just to give you kind of a clue of what's in here, here's just a quick sampling of some of the colors, but pretty much everything that's been out of stock um, for the longest time is now back between the 32 and 28 count linens are in here. Um, and then the 14, 16, 18 and 20 count eight o'clock is in here as well. So you will see the that section of the shop will get totally repopulated this afternoon. Um, I, like I said, I know lots and lots of folks have been asking about that. Um, I don't know what's in here. There's a couple of things looking quickly at the packing slip. There are a few colors that look like they're still back ordered. The 32 count linen in white is not in here. The black um, is still Ada Black, which has been, it's so been so hard to get the dark colors uh, for ages now. So unfortunately the black is not in here. Um, neither is the Lamb's Wool 16, the Sea Lily, uh, some of it is in here. So there are a couple of things that are not um, in here. Um, hey Muffy, how are you? Uh, oh, these are the little, um, these are scissors. These are some of my favorite scissors. They're called Tiny Snips. Um, they're these little tiny black scissors. They, um, they're they really, really nice and sharp. They have a very nice sharp tip. They travel really well. I actually just had these um, in my bag uh, when I went to uh, France. So they are TSA approved. You can get them through uh, no problem. And like I said, these have been out for a while. So the little Tiny Snips are back. All right, let me move this massively heavy box out of the way. Give me a second. Oof. All right, so we've got Ada and Linen back. Um, some of these boxes, I don't know what's in here. It's a bunch of backordered stuff, so it'll be as much of a surprise to me as it is to you. Here's the first example of, um, be careful, thanks Robin, of something that is brand new uh, that is not up on the site yet. 
So this is the brand new metal rotary cutter from Creative Grids. This just came out. Uh, it was supposed to be released in January. There was a bit of a pushback. So these are hot off the presses. It comes with, um, I can feel it through the packaging. It's really nice and heavy. Personally, I love a heavy uh, rotary cutter. It makes it easier to cut through multiple layers of fabric. You don't have to put as much force because it weighs enough that it cuts through the fabric really nicely. Um, and it comes with its own zippered storage case. So these are brand, brand new. You're not going to find these on the website today. Um, my goal is to try to get as much of this new stuff up by Friday. But if you really, really want this today, um, send me a message um, and I can get you this. Hello, Miss Claudia. So happy to see you. <laughs> Gorgeous, glowing Paris recharged face again. Thank you, Muffy. I am completely recharged. It was such an amazing, amazing, amazing trip um, in so many regards. I am, I'm happy to be back, though. It's, it is nice to be back. All right. This whole box um, is going to be brand new stuff that you haven't seen before because it's a whole brand new supplier. So um, a couple last month, a couple months ago, um, if you're familiar with Bebe Bold from Australia, they are a wonderful um, shop in Australia that specializes in Japanese fabrics um, and sashiko samplers. So they did not have um, a distributor in the, um, hey, Jenny. Um, <laughs> Jenny from Sublime Stitching just joined. And I actually just met um, her friend Rebecca, uh, who was doing the textile tour. She said to say hello. Um, so uh, anyway, Bebe uh, contacted me and asked if I might be interested in, um, in stocking some of their, their things because they didn't have a US um, distributor. So I'm super excited that I am now going to be stocking um, some of the Bebe Bold patterns, fabrics, um, and that's what you're about to see in this box. So once again, this stuff is not up on the website yet. I'm hoping to get it up by Friday because I've got some um, pictures from them to be able to get this up quickly. Um, Rebecca is, she was such a delight. I cannot wait to share with you guys um, the pictures that from her tour. Um, again, she's the Textile Tours of Paris. Uh, she is just an incredible font of knowledge. My oldest daughter came with me on the tour um, I think she just came because she felt bad that I was going by myself. I don't think she was like super excited about it, um, but she ended up loving it. She had a great time. Um, Rebecca was just so engaging and my daughter loves history. And so she just gave us a bunch of the history of it and loved it. It was great. It was a great, great tour. So if you're going to Paris, um, highly, highly, highly recommend setting aside Friday morning um, to take Rebecca's tour because she's fabulous. All right. So what is in here? We've got brand new Sashiko samplers. This is the Christmas tree sampler. How sweet is that? Um, Jenny says her newsletter is great. Thank you for that tip. I'm going to sign up for her newsletter because I really enjoyed um, her entire tour. So um, I've tagged her. I'll tag her in the post that I make this afternoon, but I believe that on Instagram, she's textile tours of Paris in case you, you want to go look that up. Um, so we've got the Christmas tree here. So all of these are printed on the Azuminu um, cotton, that super soft, wrinkly uh, cotton that's fantastic. And I've got the Christmas tree in red and in green. Um, never too early to start thinking about those holiday stitching projects, right? Then we've got the um, Sashiko wreath, which again is in different colors. Um, it's the disappearing ink. These are really nice bright blue lines uh, that'll make it really easy to stitch. So it comes in this beige color, in green, in navy, and I think that was it for those. There's some, um, these are seven, the seven treasures I think is what it's called. So it's seven, um, about six inch squares of different sashiko patterns. So you've got these in red, in beige, um, and then just some other Sashiko samplers. There's a lot in this box. Uh, some just new, different designs, different um, fabrics, different colors. So this is going to be a lot of fun to play with. 
I also got some of their fabric. Um, so these are going to be sold. Uh, once I open it up, I'll have a better idea, but it's going to be sold by panels. So you'll be able to have all sorts of different um, Sashiko designs on one piece of fabric so that you can use it for making bigger bags, all that kind of stuff. So um, there's this, and then there's this slightly, it's, a, it's hard, the camera's not picking up the color difference, but there is a slight shade difference in these two blues. So that's in here. Um, there's some bag patterns in here for some more of the uh, drawstring rice pouch style bags. So this is a fun pattern. And then um, if you really like making the drawstring bags, especially if you like using the Koki clips, um, I finally was able to find some of the waxed cotton cording um, in loads of different colors. So I've got white, navy, brown, um, and red. So this works fabulously for the rice pouch bags, any sort of drawstring uh, bags. It moves through the Koki clips really nice and smoothly, or if you use the channels, it'll move really nicely through those as well. So. That's what's in this box. This is all brand, brand new stuff. Um, and like I said, hopefully I will have this up for you very soon. Um, I'm really excited to be working with the lovely folks um, at Bebe Bold. They are super duper nice and they've just got some really nice, um, new, modern Sashiko designs that I haven't seen in other places. All right, here we've got a box from Kiriki Press um, up in Canada. And I believe this should be more of the Constellation um, embroidery kits and then several of the doll kits that have been out of stock for a bit. Oh, yes. Okay. So again, brand new. You're getting lots of sneak peeks at brand new things. Um, this is Michelle's brand new uh, bunny kit. So this is a brand new Kiriki uh, doll that she just released. It's this adorable little bunny. Um, I, again, I already have pictures for this, so I should be able to get this one up fairly quickly uh, in case you want to do this for Easter. Um, that's It's really, really sweet. This is a level two kit, uh, so it's a little, bit, a little bit more intensive stitching than the number one beginner kits, um, like the, the Panda. You can see you just kind of embellish the silk screened image with a couple of um, basic stitches. The level two is a little bit more, but not the complete coverage of the level three kits like the hedgehog um, and the otter that kind of that are completely covered in stitches. So this um, brand new bunny is here. And then there's the otter is back. Um, I've gotten lots of questions about that one. Fiesta cat is in here and lots of the um, Stitch samplers are in here. So big, nice big restock of Kiriki kits is what's in here. There's a second box from Kiriki, which I think this one is the Constellation kits. Um, we shall see. Yes, that's what's in here. All right, so this is a restock of the 11 inch um, Constellation embroidery kits. So the kit contains everything that you need to do up this beautiful pattern. It's got the hoop, the thread, the stitching chart. Um, the print is already uh, screen printed onto fabric for you. So there's no transferring. It's got the blue on the fabric. So um, you all you have to do is stitch it up. So the cool part about this kit is that it's really multi-level. So if you are a beginning stitcher, you love this, you want to try it out, you can totally finish this entire thing using um, a back stitch, pretty much. So, but if you are a more experienced stitcher and you want to add some extra pizzazz to it, you can definitely add more complicated stitches onto here. You can do some knot work. You can add your own metallic um, floss. You can do woven back stitches to um, with some metallic thread um, to give it kind of a little bit of pop maybe your favorite constellation do a woven back stitch through that and make that one pop a little bit more um, so this is a really fun kit because you can do it across multiple skill levels it's not just for beginners or just for advanced folks 
um, you really can make it your own depending on uh, what you are comfortable with. So this kit is back. Um, what else is in here? A restock of some of her fabulous needle threaders. Uh, there's both, this is the micro, so this is great for the uh, needles that have the really tiny eyes, beading needles, applique needles, all that good stuff. Um, that's what the micro is for. And then the classic, I think these are all micros, um, the classic one works really well with almost any other size eye needle. And here we have some of the needle minders. Uh, we've got the zebra plant. Uh, these are enamel, metallic, uh, metal enamel needle minders. You've got the magnet there to secure it onto the back of your fabric. Um, there's that one. There's the succulent. And there is the floral cat, which is always a favorite. Um, hey, Carol, how are you? All right. This aside. So here we've got another package from Canada. Uh, this is from Kelmscott Designs uh, with the scissors and needle minders. I believe what's in here is the classic Putfords. Thank you. It's good to be back. Um, there's all sorts of things in here. Um, so we have the classic Putford's Primitive Blacks um, that were on back order are back. These are super duper popular. Uh, there's also the kind of classic old school style with the black handles and the silver blade is in here. The vintage red needles are in here. The silver mermaid tails. Um, and I think that's what is all is in there. Um, and then I think this other package should be some needle minders. It is. All right, so we've got a couple of the Beehive needle minders. Um, if you do come into the studio for a private shopping appointment or for the open studio, um, you are always welcome to open up. Folks are usually look at the card catalog, and but they don't go near it. Um, so all of these Kelmscott needle minders, that's what lives in these top drawers over here. This next section is all of the uh, Kiriki Press stitch samplers. And then the bottom section is all the Kiriki Press doll kits. So if you come into the studio, you are very welcome to open drawers um, and look for what you need. They're all, la all the um, drawers are labeled, so that you should be able to find pretty easily what it is that you are looking for. All right. I made a big scissor mess here. All right, we've got a bunch of little boxes. So let's see what is in here. These are a couple of the um, felt pin cushions uh, from Brooklyn Haberdashery. Uh, these were uh, the seafoam color that was on back order. Uh, these are really, really adorable and cute. It's a wooden base with a felt ball. It comes with these little three uh, pins, and then they attach this little um, bow of Liberty fabric in a coordinating color. So I've got these um, in, I think, 12 different colors. Um, and they're really cute. So that's what was in that little box. And I think these next are a couple of back ordered items. <coughs> nope. <laughs> these are a couple of um, brand new sets from Riley Blake. This is a set with the embroidery scissors um, and the coordinating tape measure. Uh, so that's what's uh, in here. The tape measure uh, measures up to 60 inches. It's got the um, automatically retracting tape measure. You press the little button here in the center and it pulls it back in. And the scissor handle coordinates with the same uh, pattern as the tape measure. So 
These are brand new. Um, hopefully I will get those up on the site for you soon. Let's see. I'm telling you, this is all stuff that I ordered back in like November <laughs> and was expecting in January. Um, and so you're getting lots and lots of sneak peeks at brand new things. So um, the same folks that do all the wonderful vinyl stickers and uh, embroidery kits, Ginger Bear, um, now have needle minders, enamel needle minders. So uh, the first two are here, and this is the Polar Bear. They're really nice and strong. I can feel it um, as I'm trying to pull them apart. Uh, this is probably about uh, almost two inches tall and about an inch wide. So it's a nice big one. Great for hand quilting um, if you're into that. And then the other design is the Nocturnal Owl. Um, again, all brand new. Um, so those are not up on the site quite yet, but I will try to get them up as soon as possible. It really is uncanny how every time I go away, um, all this stuff that all magically comes back into stock uh, and appears while I'm gone. So I don't know, maybe I should take vacation more often. Or all this stuff we've been waiting on for ages will, will appear. Um, Sticky Fabrisalvi is back. This has been out of stock for a couple of months. Uh, so I just got my shipment of these. Uh, if you don't know what this is, this is a great way to, easy way, to transfer an embroidery pattern onto a piece of fabric. So these are eight and a half by 11 sheets that you can feed into any inkjet or laser printer. Um, not sure about the laser, definitely inkjet. Um, and you can print an embroidery design straight onto here. You don't have to reverse the image because it's not like iron-on patterns. So if there's words on your embroidery pattern, you can print it just the way that you see it. Um, so what this is, it has a, a release paper on this kind of sticky, tacky, uh, almost interfacing feeling. Um, kind of fabric-y material that you stick onto your fabric, you stitch through it, and then when you're done stitching, um, you submerge it in water and kind of rub it a little bit with your fingers, and the paper disappears. So it's a very, very easy way to get your patterns. This is a great way. Folks are always asking, how do you transfer patterns onto dark fabrics? Because there aren't really a lot of great um, iron-on transfer uh, products that work in like white ink. This is a great way to transfer and to stitch onto dark fabric um, is with the sticky fabric salty. So this is back in stock, which is exciting. All right, these are the boxes that I think several folks are here waiting to see. These are from Cottage Garden Threads, um, everybody's new favorite pearl cotton threads. There's actually three boxes to this order, and I just got a notification that um, the third one is being delivered today, so the rest of the order um, will be here very soon. But there, um, there's a couple of things in here that are super exciting. So this is the restock of the existing colors that are already in the shop, so all the ones that are sold out. Um, this is the Forge collection of the size 8 pearl. Um, they're in these boxes. So uh, you will see a big restock of Cottage Garden threads happening this afternoon once this video is done and I start getting all this stuff logged in. So it looks like this box is mostly the Forage collection um, in the size 8 pearl. Here is some more of those beautiful colors. And then it looks like there might be a couple of boxes in here. It is, okay. So I had asked a while back um, whether, what you guys were interested in more, pearl cotton or stranded embroidery floss. The overwhelming majority of folks said pearl cotton, which is why I started with the size eight pearl cotton for the cottage garden threads. Once um, everybody saw the colors, then I started getting questions about, well, do you have it in six uh, strand embroidery floss? And you guys asked, so here it is. Um, so 
a lot of the uh, the main three collections of um, forage paint box and namesake um, I got them in six strand embroidery floss so um, these work uh, these are the same kind of hanks where you give it a little tug um, and it falls down so you'll be able to pull one strand out so it's all the same colors as the pearl cotton but now in embroidery floss um, the way in order to be able to get these up onto the website as fast as possible um, I'm going to to all of the colors the existing pearl cotton colors you'll now see um, an option box between the whether you want it in pearl cotton or embroidery floss um, so that is coming very very soon so all of that's what's in these three boxes is a restock of the original colors as well as um, the new six strand embroidery floss in all the same colors the uh, work cushion pattern is back um, this is uh, one of their sewing patterns on making this uh, really adorable cushion to use as a work surface if you stitch like on a couch or a chair or whatever um, and it includes the iron-on transfer to make this adorable little cottage which I think is the storefront um, of cottage garden threads um, and it includes that uh, transfer um, in the little packet so that's really fun All right, box number two from Cottage Garden. So that first box was the Forage Collection. Um, let's see what colors are in here. What is the name of the embroidery floss? Didn't catch the name. It is Cottage Garden Threads. Um, it's the same company that does the uh, the size eight pearl cotton that has uh, been really popular. Um, it's they do they do size eight pearl, six strand embroidery floss, and I believe size twelve pearl maybe. Um, but so I now have the same colors in the size eight pearl and the um, stranded embroidery floss. All right, so this is the namesake collection. Um, and this is the stranded embroidery floss version of these colors. So you've got, uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, so you've got stranded cotton is all of these in the namesake collection. Let's see what this is. They package everything so nicely. It's really, really cute. Um, oh, and then it's the namesake in the uh, size 8 pearl as well. So there is little Felix, um, who always <laughs> is the last one to sell out. Um, we kind of have a running joke about poor little Felix. Um, you're welcome. Because he's the, the last one standing. Um, it's really, it's so interesting because black is really a very, very popular color in almost every other um, kind of thread and sajiko thread and regular embroidery floss pearl cottons um, and for some reason the black of the of the um, cottage garden threads is not all that popular so um, so here is the namesake size 8 pearl restock so hopefully um, by this afternoon you will see almost all of the cottage garden threads pearl um, restocked and I will start working on getting all of the uh, stranded uh, embroidery floss up there as well. So you now have your choice of um, whichever one you prefer to stitch with. All right, we're getting down to the end here. We've just got, I think, two more boxes. So I think what's in here um, is also, again, brand new stuff. Um, so there's lots of new and exciting stuff coming. I just got um, word over the weekend that Olympus is getting ready to release a whole bunch of new Sashigo samplers and embroidery kits. So that'll be um, really fun to see. And that's a lot of what is in this box right here is the new Sashigo coaster kits uh, that Olympus just released in the pink, the soft blue, navy, and white. Uh, you get five different patterns 
it come these are complete kits so they actually come with the Olympus thin Sachiko thread in them and a needle um, so everything you need is in this kit already and then you can follow um, the pictures and use their color guidance or you can make it your own and do it however you'd like um, the brand new stuff that's in here I was actually really hoping this was going to arrive because I really wanted to this is what I wanted to work on on my trip um, but it didn't get here in time so I am excited to get to work on these um, as soon as I finish the sampler that I did start while I was away. So Olympus has released um, some new samplers very recently. Um, and these are so cool because they are a mix of Kuguti Sashi, uh, Moyozashi, and Hitomezashi. So they're mixing and matching the different styles of Sashi go into one sampler now to create these really intricate, beautiful designs. Um, I have them in samplers. So this one um, is called Nadeshiko. This one is called Poinsettia. There is um, a couple more here. This one is called Drop. And then this one is called Honeycomb. So I have them as the samplers. They're all on um, white fabric, which is kind of really fun because because of how intricate the designs are, these really, really call for playing with color. Um, so having the white kind of blank canvas um, for you to be able to really jump into this with whatever colors you want um, is going to be a lot of fun. This is also a great, the Olympus um, 20 color Olympus Thin Sampler Pack would work really well with these as well because then you have loads and loads of color um, to play with when you're doing these. So they come uh, with the new 100 meter variegated threads, absolutely. All those new fun colors, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun to play with. Um, so they come as the white samplers, but they also come as kits that come with all of the thread that you need um, if you don't want to deal with the stress of, I don't know what colors to pick, um, they pick it for you. So they're gonna, this is the same sampler um, and it comes with enough thread to be able to finish the sampler and it gives you the color guide uh, that they suggest here on the front. So I've got these kits for, um, I think, all four of the samplers that I just showed you. Um, these beautiful colors here. And here is the honeycomb with these nice warm autumn colors. And here is um, the last one. And it has these, this is, these are my colors. I love blues and greens, um, purples, grays, these are great. So all brand new stuff, um, loads and loads of brand new things to um, entice you with to show you as you can imagine as you've seen from the amount of brand new stuff that I've shown you today um, I've got a lot of work ahead of me to get all of this stuff listed if you are in the Durham area um, and you are planning on coming to the open studio on Thursday um, you will probably see a lot of this stuff um, here in the shop already so um, so yeah, if you're in the area, stop by. Um, you'll probably get to see some of this stuff in person before I'm able to get it up on the website. So this last box is um, some back order of the Neon Nephi denim fabric um, in a different color that I did not have yet. Um, so that's what's what's in here. They It's two small bolts. It's the same color, but it's two small bolts because they didn't have um, my usual yardage on a single bolt. So they just divided it into two. But that's what's um, that's what's in here. I think this is in the coming soon section. So I'll move this over to the new section this afternoon in case you had your eye on that. I think somebody I feel like somebody asked me about that fabric recently. Um, so if you're watching, it's here. <laughs> I think I told you that it was um, supposed to be coming in April or July. But look at that. I went away on vacation and it showed up. So. Um, so there you go. That, I think, is all of the boxes that I had. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, just to recap, uh, again, Thursday, Open Studio, 1 to 7. 
Um, Friday, I'll be jumping uh, on here again to um, share with you some of the goodies that I bought in France. Um, and then a couple upcoming classes, the Sashiko Pouch and the Color Wheel class with Rebecca uh, from Drop Cloth Samplers. So um, thank you. Great to see you guys again. Uh, great to be back. I will be working this afternoon on getting all this stuff, um, uh, all the restock stuff back in the shop. So you'll see those this afternoon. Um, and I will start working my way through getting a whole bunch of all this new stuff um, listed for you. So. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, and it's good to be back. And thank you for your patience. And I will see you all again on Friday. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.